I don't think uh, the general public understand truly the effect that it has on our victims. Within uh, the legal definition, there are six strands that come under the guise of protected characteristics, and they include uh, disability, individual characteristics, transgender identity, race, religion, and sexual orientation. So if somebody looks at a situation and thinks that it is a hate crime or related to hate and motivated by hate, so that's their perception and they believe the reason for it is hate, then that is a hate crime. But it is all about what the victim or the witness sees the crime to be, not about what everybody else thinks. Any kind of crime uh, can be a hate crime. It could be um, some sort of assault. It could be if somebody is punched, if somebody is hit, or if somebody is verbally abusing or threatening somebody. It could be related to setting somebody's property on fire or damaging it. Or it could be really be related to any sort of crime. What we look at is what the motivation for that crime would be. Our role in, uh, in West Mercia is to be victim focused, so we don't deal uh, specifically with investigations. We trawl our uh, records and then locate individuals that are victims of hate crime and we offer further support, wraparound care and pretty much a gold standard service. West Mercy has recognised that hate crime is particularly quite pernicious and as such it is now a false priority. Once a, a year we will go to, to each shift at Worcester uh, and the surrounding stations and try and just give them reminders as to what their obligations are in terms of uh, the victim's code of practice and that's just a, a directive to ensure that every victim is given uh, a gold standard service. We have a dedicated team of uh, PCSOs who go out with uh, education packages. It might be an assembly or it might be group work uh, with each of the uh, high schools at the moment on our area to make sure that sort of people moving forward are understanding what a hate crime is, how they can report it um, and what to do should they be a victim or be involved in a situation where they might know of a perpetrator of hate crime. It's incredibly important that uh, all hate crimes are reported to the police. Uh, first and foremost, if we don't know about uh, the hate crime, then it can't be investigated. In addition to that, it also builds uh, a, a, a clear, accurate picture of the amount of hate crime that is actually happening. It's widely uh, agreed that hate crime in particular is under-reported by up to, I think it's 40 to 50%. So that means that we are only receiving uh, half the hate crime that is actually out there.